everyone so I finally have a new video up it's been like two months since I filmed a video I've been so so busy I just haven't had time to film a video it's brilliant I'm absolutely loving it but I just haven't had time to like actually sit down and do a video and edit a video and get a video up so I am trying my best to get as many videos done when I have free time now um, because I really really want to get back into YouTube like properly so hopefully it won't be another two months before I put up like another video but um yes it's been two months gonna try my best not to let it get to two months again <laughs> if you're not following me on facebook or instagram or snapchat or anything like that you'll not know that i cut my hair i cut almost nine inches of my hair off for the little princess trust um so that's why my hair is like super short now <laughs> make sure you're following me on instagram facebook snapchat all that they're all gonna be on the screen right now because i post on there a lot more than i post on youtube and if i'm not posting on youtube i'm most likely posting on one of those so make sure you're following me on all of those so in today's video i thought i would do a review i haven't done a review in a really really long time and i always get really good feedback from my reviews and I think this product is really good for kind of like back to school and everything like that because it's quite natural and light and very, very easy to work with. And the product that I'm talking about is the Benefit Hello Flawless. Um, they call it a custom powder cover up for face. And this, in my opinion, is just a full coverage powder foundation. Um, you can use it as a setting powder or you can use it as a foundation, which I have been using and I absolutely love this. So as I say, I tried this about a month and a half ago um, when I was in Dublin. I just needed something quick to kind of throw on. I forgot a powder and I thought I would treat myself to a new one. And I, I chose this because it seemed to be the lightest powder in the shop that I could get. So um, yeah, this is in the shade I Love Me Ivory. Now there's two ivories. Um, this is like the second ivory. The first one is very pink toned and then this one is more kind of neutral yellow toned, which is like perfect. This is my perfect, perfect match, which I love. Because this is um, my second one and this is my first one. <laughs> so this is completely, completely out and I had this bought even before I ran out of this because I knew I loved it that much. So I have never tried any Benefit foundation or concealer products. They've always been way, way too dark for me. The concealer, like the Boing concealer and the the one that's in the stick that you roll up for under your eyes, they're all way, way too dark for me. They're, they're just, they're not a good shade range at all. So when I was kind of browsing through the shop and I was looking for a face powder, I came across this and the light shade like immediately kind of attracted me and I swatched it and immediately when you swatch it, it doesn't feel like a powder. It feels like a cream. It feels very, very creamy. It does not feel like a powder at all. As probably all of you know by now, I absolutely adore Bare Minerals. I love their foundations. But their foundations are quite powdery and dry and when you feel them when you swatch them they don't feel creamy they do feel like a powder but this this doesn't this genuinely feels like a creamy product so basically how i use this product is i use a concealer underneath it i use the mac studio finish concealer in nc10 again it's a really this is a great concealer it's really lightweight and this wee pot literally lasts me ages so I just put this under my eyes, I just use my finger, blend it out and then just kind of pat it on any um, imperfections that I want to cover up as well. Um, you do want to use this first because this is a powder going on top. You don't want to ever apply a cream on top of a powder. You always want to apply this first and then put your powder foundation on top. It's the quickest, easiest way to do it. And also then when you're putting on your powder foundation, you don't have to put on as much because anything that's really neat and covered is already almost completely covered anyway with this product. So that's why I always recommend concealing before powder foundation. After I have the concealer on, I'll blend it. I'll just kind of go over my skin all together, just with like a flat top kabuki, just to make sure there's no kind of harsh lines of where the concealer hasn't been blended out because this will cling to it and make it look very noticeable that there's concealer that hasn't been blended out. And then I will either use one of two brushes. This is my most used brush with it. This is the Blank Canvas F42 and this is the Blank Canvas F25. Now this would be what I would use if I was doing like a really full glam look and I had used a liquid foundation and I wanted a powder foundation to set it to give it more coverage. You can use this to set your normal makeup as well. It doesn't have to be just like a normal um, powder foundation. I don't actually think they market this as a powder foundation. I think they do just market it as a setting powder, but it's so pigmented and so much coverage. I think it's 
better than nearly any foundation that I've ever used. I'm wearing it today. So this is great for those kind of full glam looks where you want a really, really full coverage. I just take this, dab it in a couple of times, just sweep it all over my face. It gives you that extra wee bit of coverage and it sets the makeup and leaves it looking so silky smooth. It's gorgeous. Or if I'm using it as a part of foundation and use the F42 brush and I just kind of swirl this in, I'll push it onto my skin first and then go in in circular motions to blend it in. It blends out like a dream. It looks like skin and it doesn't look like makeup. So you're not gonna walk around looking like you have like about 10 ton of powder on your face because some powder foundations can do that but this doesn't look like that at all so as after i buff it all in then i'll just go on and i put on literally all i do is like a wee bit of like bronzer and blush eyebrows and lashes and that's it and that's why i think this would be great for back to school if you do want something really really natural but still really really good coverage that's still going to let your skin breathe powder foundation is a lot better for younger skin if you are going back to school and if you don't want anything really heavy but you still want to wear makeup powder foundation isn't going to clog your pores like a liquid foundation would so this is great also if you have really good skin if you don't have um, much to cover up this is great even without a concealer you can build this up and kind of use this as a concealer as well if you know how to build it up correctly so if you if you want to use this on its own with nothing underneath it you can totally do that it goes underneath the eyes really nicely too but how i like to build up the coverage is if you just kind of lift up this like the actual powder compact underneath it you get a sponge which i have used so it's sturdy and then like a wee um brush as well which i haven't used but this is great for on the go if you just kind of fold it over oh goodness so if you just kind of fold it over you can use it as a spot concealer as well just kind of dip it into the product push it onto anywhere that you have a spot or your dark circles really really push it on really kind of don't overload it but make sure there's enough on there to where the spot is completely covered then take your powder brush and extremely extremely lightly after like 30 seconds a minute make sure it's sitting on there and then just kind of very very lightly just go like that it's going to remove the excess powder and it's still going to give you that like full coverage over that acne spot so you're not going to have to overload your skin and it's not going to look like there's a big patch of powder sitting on your skin it's almost like the same concept of baking um like when you do um like when you bake underneath your contour or you bake underneath your eyes it's going to create that kind of line of sharpness and it's going to clean that up same kind of deal with this if you leave it on your skin for like 30 seconds a minute max when you take it off the the coverage is kind of sticking to the area and then you're dusting off the excess on top of it i have done this for years with powder foundation i thought everyone kind of knew how to do that but not many people do so there's a little tip for you if you need to cover up acne really really quickly and on the go that there is just a couple of ways i like to use it i really don't have anything bad to say about this i I absolutely love it. I truly don't have anything bad to say. I even wore this to my cousin's wedding in the middle of July and I touched up with this throughout the day. I wore a liquid foundation underneath. I wore the Makeup Forever Ultra HD and then I put this on top and my makeup did not budge all day. I did start to get a wee bit oily um, kind of towards the end of the night but a quick sweep of this and you know I was done and it was it was completely matte again um and it has no flashback the photo that i'm going to put up right now if i can find it um was taken a flash and you can see that there's no flashback on my face really hope you like this video hopefully it'll not be another two months until i have another video up hopefully i really want to get back to at least one video a week i was doing two videos a week but i just don't think that's even an idea anymore <laughs> i'm so busy at the minute i just don't think two videos is very realistic at all but I'm going to try to push for the one video a week probably just on whatever day I have time to put it up so I really hope you like this don't forget to follow me on all of my social medias and I will see you in my next video